Hello JDs and Lenormand, welcome back to another video. Today, of course, we are back with the tutorial. I am revamping, redoing my tutorial from last year uh, with more updated information, more relevant information, obviously, which is the most important. Without further ado, we're just going to get into it. First off, I'd like to say, please add this extension to your browser. It is from a very trusted source. Jadeship.com is one of the most reputable and recognized people in the community. He does a lot of nice uh, extensions and tools that you can use. Please add this extension to your browser. It will make the whole thing a lot easier. And also make sure you join my official discord and the official panda by discord so you can get some help or further information if you need any on my discord you can just ping me at any time and i'll try to reply so you're on panda by and you want to understand how this whole thing works you want to understand what you're doing first of all let me just say panda by is a shipping agent they do not sell anything they only provide a service to be able to buy things in china many people don't know that but it's very important that you understand that because otherwise you'll be confused so let's actually start off the most common resource for people to look for items or browse items are yupu catalogs and yupu is a photo catalog website basically very popular in China, but it is commonly used for e-commerce and selling products. And it also allows sellers to you know, list things without any copyright infringement issues, because sometimes they do need to worry about that, which I do actually have a good example. For example, if I wanted to buy this Stussy fleece that I found, you know, I'm looking at these, uh, this information, I'm looking at these photos. I'm like, yeah, I'm happy with this. Sometimes the photos won't be accurate, but it will most of the time be a general, a generally good feel. This seller, Husky, he's very reputable. He's not too accurate. He's not too good most of the time, but he's solid. He's got videos of models wearing the actual stuff that he sells so you'll be able to see what it looks like and this will reflect what your item will look like as well obviously there are going to be like factory defects and stuff but that's you can't really avoid that but now that you've actually found a product you're going to want to click here and you can see for some of you you might be confused yours doesn't look like this this is the extension kicking in so please do make sure you download the extension so i'll be able to click this and it will redirect me to the panama page and now you wonder right you're you're on here and you're thinking to yourself well this isn't what i was looking at what is this photo am i going to get like some weird sleeves most of the time sellers are going to have to censor photos in order to not have any copyright issues so in this case you've just got the sleeves and you've got a way to identify the colors if this photo doesn't match whatever you were looking at on the yupu 99% of the time it is just for copyright reasons but with yupu you've also got the actual marketplaces so as i said yupu is just for viewing photos basically and there's links attached via the extension this link would redirect you to a website called taobao now we can get onto taobao by right clicking here and opening link in new tab and this is a chinese marketplace kind of think of it like ebay or amazon and yeah you could say to yourself why am i using panda by then if i could, I, if I know where to buy this stuff most sellers will not ship internationally they don't really care about westerners they only want to sell to chinese people you see all of this is chinese and this is once again the extension kicking in at the top so let me just close this this website is exclusively for chinese people so you will not understand what's going on what you would do is copy the tmall or the taobao or the weidian link and you would paste it into the panda buy search bar just like this so if you go on reddit and obviously i've got the extension so i can't exactly show you this will be a weidian link before it gets filtered you would copy that and paste it into panda buy weidian yupu taobao they're basically ways of viewing products or buying products. Now you might be actually wondering how to find specific items. So in this example, we're going to look at Jordan 4s. You're going to search for Jordan 4s on Reddit, uh, click on whatever post. This post looks good. In hand, detailed review, which is good. You want in hand photos and you want a detailed review. You're going to scroll down, read all these points, understand and kind of think to yourself, well, this all makes sense, but I'm seeing these words I'm not understanding. What is a GX batch? What are batches? And you want to understand what that means. Batches are factories, basically. I think of a batch as a factory. Different batches, different factories are going to be better at producing different items in this case for example gx batch is extremely good at producing jordan 4s they make some of the best ones rfa is up there as well but that's also just another batch rfa is the name of a seller and also the name of a batch gx is the best batch for jordan 4s basically in 99 percent of cases batches are extremely difficult to understand it is in my opinion the most confusing part for most people because there are really a lot of batches out there if we scroll through the jordan 4 find we're going to have a lot of different price points a lot of different batches and you're kind of going to get a bit overwhelmed so in complete honesty you're just going to have to sit down and kind of do some research or obviously go on the discord ask me ask someone go on the panel by discord ask around here maybe not in this chat these chats here will usually be your help or obviously there is there is actually a specific chat for it where people will try to find links for you uh but yeah you you are going to have to sit down and do some research prior to buying things it's not just like amazon where you find something and, and add it to cart but now that you're actually happy with this item specifically you're going to click on this link in some cases when you've got an item such as this acne shirt they won't sometimes leave the link in this example they have but sometimes they don't so what you can do is open the image in a tab and then in this in the bottom right you've got the pi so let's just write it down here so we've got it in front of us pi 24203945021 we'll copy this we'll go into the cart or just anywhere on panel by using the search bar and the product page will come up obviously with the extension it will redirect you to this page and you're going to have the actual 
product page within Pandabyte. It will look different on Wadeon. If, if I copy and open the link in the new tab, you'll see this is what it actually looks like on Wadeon, another Chinese website which you cannot use, which you cannot have access to, um, but which is why Pandabyte exists. But now that we're on this page, you're probably wondering, we're gonna go from the left and from the top. On the bottom left, you see average shipping six days. And you might be thinking to yourself, is that the time it takes to get to my house? That's, that's really good. Uh, no, that's how long it takes for it to get to warehouse on average. So as soon as you click the buy now button, it will take around six days for it to get to the warehouse and take your quality check photos. We're gonna get onto that in a sec. So don't worry about the QC process, whatever that is, whatever that means, uh, we will get into it in a sec. But yeah, basically you have to wait six days before it gets into the warehouse and before you get your photos. Now that we understand what this is, let's go up here. This reminder will be gone in a month or so. This is just for Chinese New Year. So we can ignore that. This is the name. Sometimes the names will not make any sense and it really doesn't matter. This is the seller. You can enter their shop and browse their products through Panda Buy as well, because obviously you don't have access to Adion. Once again, a lot of batch names, FK, KZ, GX, FT, M, a lot of info. Please do your research. We understand what the shop name is. We understand what the disclaimer is, the average shipping time, the name. We're gonna go down to the price. Now, uh, you can adjust the, the currency to your own liking. My personal preference is just sticking with U1. I'm, I'm already reprogrammed in my brain to stick with U1. But for your preference and ease, you can click up here, English slash CNY, choose a different language, choose a different currency. Uh, so yeah, I'm using CNY. You could even switch to pounds and you'll see the pound equivalent I just don't like looking at the pound amount to be completely honest with you. So I'm going to switch back to CNY. But yeah, these are Chinese yuan, not Japanese yen. Down here we have where the original link is. As I've already covered, you can open the link in new tab and it will redirect you here. And then you've got this information. Seller to Panda by Certified Warehouse, shipping fee, 10 yuan. 10 yuan for shipping? You're telling me the shipping is only one and a half pounds? This window is just domestic shipping. The price it costs for the shoe to get to the warehouse. So most of the time, this will be 10 yuan. A lot of the time it will be free. Sometimes it'll be a lot more. Uh, just be, be aware of this because it can spike up the price of your product. 10 yuan one is not a lot though so we don't really worry about that and then we'll go down here we've got style size and a message box and a quantity selector wow so much information you you probably already know what she want i mean there's so many options but you, you probably know what you're buying so i'm just going to go with these union fours just as an example and we go into the size section you might be wondering what these numbers mean you're probably used to seeing you know sizes like 8 9 10 11 12 this is european sizing which is widely used across most sellers so if you see these numbers it usually means eu sizing you can convert it just by googling it like what your us sizing is compared to EU sizing and just buy that. Sometimes you have a case where the size says 40 and then yards or whatever number and followed by yardage or yards. That doesn't really mean anything. That just means size basically. So 40 size or if it's like an L, like a large shirt, it will be an L yards. That doesn't mean anything. It's basically like a like a filler word. So you know what model you want, you know what size you want, you know how many you're buying. Obviously, I'm only buying one pair. You've got a message box, and this is only relevant in a couple of scenarios. For example, on this product page, you've got the versions, obviously the batches which we went over on all the colors. Let's just go with this, for example. For size, you've got the size remarks button. So obviously, you can't choose your size here. What you'll do is leave your size here in this message box. You will put EU or Euro, European. EU is what I stick with, 44. And then the Panabai agent knows what to buy from the seller. Just leave your message just like this. And that's majority of the time what the message box is for. You were scrolling down and you're seeing this here. And if you're a new user, you will not have these things here. But these are previous QC photos, previous photos from people that have bought from this exact link. If you're wondering how to get access to this for free, because the way I have this is because I have over 300 growth points, which we will go on to later. But for now, you can literally just copy the URL, go to qc.pandabai.com paste the link in here and you've got thousands basically of photos to look. In the case where there's no results, that just means no one has bought it and you're going to have to GP, which means guinea pig, the product and basically buy it for the first time, see how it comes out, maybe take an L. But now that we know what the shoes actually look like based on the QC photos, we know what model we're getting, what size. Let's hold our horses though. We're talking about shoes, but when we're talking about clothing, sizing isn't as simple. Whilst shoes have quite standardized sizing, 44 is pretty much always 44. There is some deviation between brands. It's generally the same. With clothing, S, M, L, XL, you know, or even an extra small extra extra small this is not standardized sizing these things will differ okay just because you're a large with your normal t-shirts doesn't mean you're going to be a large one here what you want to do is in most cases scroll down on the product page and go down to the size chart this size chart will provide accurate measurements or relatively accurate measurements of each part of the garment of the piece of clothing it will give you a guidance of what size you should buy so but based on these measurements i mean i can see the length the bust and the shoulder i would most likely go with size l but i don't always go for size l on jackets sometimes i go for xl sometimes i go for medium so it's extremely important that you check the size chart. If there isn't a size chart, then you can go off of the QC photos. You can hopefully line it up based on the measurement tape here. When there's no QCs, there's no size chart, you're kind of out of your depths and you need to just get lucky, order what size you think, ask the ask for extra photos, which we will cover in a sec, and they can measure the garment for you, like so. Uh, you can get measurements yourself, but then obviously you do still need to buy and wait, and uh, it's a whole process. Let's get back to the video now. The quantity, how much we're paying for the domestic shipping. You're gonna add the item to cart. 
When you have your item in your cart, you can use the estimator, which is a very helpful tool, which will help you understand how much your shipping might come out to. Once again, this is just an estimator, which means it's an estimate. It's not an exact number. Select your product, click estimator, select the item, click inquire. Now you've got all these prices and how much you can expect to pay for shipping. You can select net weight on items such as shoes or things with bigger boxes. And in most cases, you're obviously you're getting rid of the box uh, that will decrease the price of shipping. So you see the prices have dropped quite a bit. You don't need the boxes, you're not wearing the boxes. So net weight is a really helpful tip on how to decrease shipping in a quick manner. But this is around the margin which you can expect. You might be thinking it's quite expensive. I would highly suggest shipping out pools and not individual items because individual items are going to be less worth it. But other than this cart tool, you've also got the actual proprietary estimation tool, panabuy.com slash estimation. Let's do United Kingdom. Do a sample weight of a thousand grams. And we're on this page, we've got all these shipping options, we've got all these prices. I would just like to say, volumetric weight is extremely important, okay? Now, you might be wondering, what the fuck is volumetric weight? Volumetric weight is weight calculated off of the size of a package. So, my weight might only be a thousand grams, but if I have 30 by 30 by 30 centimeters, the shipping is going to go up considerably, because now it's using the volumetric weight method, which you can see the details of by clicking on a shipping line, billing rules of volumetric weight. The system will calculate volume weight of the package using this formula. So the length times the width times the height in centimeters divided by 8,000. And that will be the weight that they take into consideration. So you won't be weighed on this number. You're going to be weighed on this number. So make sure you decrease volume and obviously again use net weight. But that is basically how to understand how much shipping will cost. We can click the buy now. And we're faced with this top up, no returns or exchanges. This product does not accept return exchange according to the seller, which means basically if your item arrives at the warehouse and you're not happy with it, you will not be able to send it back and get your money back. I have noticed there is some wiggle room here. You know, it's not completely strict. You will get lucky sometimes and be able to return or exchange, but don't count on it. If you see this, just, you know, you're buying at your own risk. Click accept and you'll be redirected to the checkout page, um, which is, really a whole lot of nothing it's just a filler page there is a couple important things on here such as your destination and this actually brings me to another good point which is adding your address onto the website so we know where the items are going and we know how much shipping is going to cost if you go into the main page go into user center click account and then shipping address you'll be able to add a shipping address here with your first name last name please add your real address and your real name because if it gets sent to a post office and you go to pick it up they might ask your id if you put your name as ben dover it's not going to be on your passport and yeah just put your real name put your real address so you actually receive your parcel please make sure Sure your panda buyer address matches the one on your paypal account if it doesn't they will have to withhold your funds and you'll need to deposit the same amount again just to verify your identity please make sure the email address and the name matches what is on your paypal if that's your payment method of choice my destination is uk and we see the product product details and we've got this little button extra photos interesting the extra photos actually let you get your own personalized image of the exact shoe you're going to get so for example here i would get the union fours i could ask for a close-up of the union tab if we check the image this union tab i could ask for a close-up close-up photo of yellow tab on both shoes please however it's kind of hard to frame this in one in the one image so i would add another photo and then specify right shoe and left shoe and now i'll receive close-up photos of these little yellow tabs or orange whatever you want to call it uh, once the shoe arrives in warehouse i'm not going to do this though you're gonna have to agree to those conditions and then click submit order now we'll redirect it to the actual payment page where you have a lot of payment methods, really a lot of payment methods and the total right at the bottom right. In some situations, you won't be able to use PayPal, Stripe or any of, of, of these other credit card options, in which case you have to use balance. The easiest way to go around the restriction of not using PayPal is by topping up. That's literally all you have to do. You top up, you type in how much you wanna top up, let's say a thousand you won and you'll be able to use any payment method you want and then pay off your balance. I'm not gonna confirm payment because I already have these shoes, but now you actually understand how to buy these shoes and have them on the way to you. Some sellers such as Fake Lab don't have Taobao or Weidian, they only use Yupu, which makes the order process a bit of a pain in the ass, I'll be real, uh, but we'll just scroll down, pick any random product. I personally wouldn't wear this, but you know, it's just for the example. And what you're probably wondering, well, where the fuck is the link? Where, how do I buy this? What you do is you copy the Yupu link from the URL, you paste it into Panda Buy, click search, and you'll be redirected to this little form here, which will automatically fill in the link and the product name. Now you're just left with these uh, required text boxes, specifications, unit price, quantity, and domestic shipping. So specifications, which is your size. What size do you want? As we can see on these images, this shop is really nicely organized. We've got XS, S, M, or L. Let's just go with M, okay? So in the specifications window, you will just put M or size M, whatever makes you more comfortable. Product notes, this is once again, if you need uh, specifications for sizing or you need something, you know, special, required, like some special requirement. If you've got a discount on your item and you wanna let the agent know, this is where you would do it. You go down and you've got the fee section, which is actual pricing. Unit price, you're wondering how much do I actually pay for this? 
You're going to go back to this page again and see that it costs 449.99 U1. You're going to go in here, write 449.99. And that's the price for the actual product itself. Go down to quantity, obviously one. I mean, unless you're buying two, I'll just go with one. And domestic shipping. It doesn't actually specify how much domestic shipping costs with the seller. In most cases, it's literally just 10. So just do 10. And if anything happens, they will let you know anyway. And then you can just do the normal checkout process as earlier. So now that we've bought, we're going to go into the order section, which will contain all of the items that you've purchased. So I've got a hoodie, a sweater, some jackets here uh, laying around. These different statuses mean different things. So I'm just going to go over every status now. Process pending means that the item is being assigned an agent. And I'll, I'll actually show you that now because what well, might as well. This tie, for example, let's buy it. I'm going to do the normal checkout process. Click agreed. I don't want any extra photos. I don't need them. Click submit order balance, confirm payment, and paid. Now I can go to my orders page again, and you'll see this is process pending. And you've also got another button, arrival timeline. This just shows your average shipping again. But yeah, process pending. It just basically means that we're waiting for an agent to be assigned to this order and for the order to be actually placed. After that happens, it will move to purchased, which means the, the order has been placed, the item has been purchased, and now we're waiting for the seller to ship out the item. Then we've got seller sent, which I mean, is quite self-explanatory. It means that the seller has sent the item and it's on the way to the warehouse. After which the status will change to warehouse received, which will mean that the, the item is at the warehouse and it's being prepared to take photos. Then you have storing, which means the storing process is taking place, taking photos of the items. And then finally you have stored where you'll be able to actually submit the item. The item is completely stored. It's in your warehouse and you've got the QC photos of. So once you've got all your stuff on this page, you know, on stored or whatever, seller sent, you understand what this means. You can switch to the warehouse tab where you see the individual items that are already on the stored status. So we've got this jacket again. Here I can view all the individual photos. Nice jacket you know nothing crazy to add this is where you see all the specifications of your items of your specific individual item the weight will vary the size will vary from item to item this is specifically to you you've got the name the amount of time you've got left in the warehouse you can keep your items in the warehouse for 90 days for free. This item has been here for six days. So obviously I've got 84 left. You can extend this by doing the extend storage period. You can also buy the extra photos as the items are already stored. It will just take a bit longer. But yeah, the warehouse tab is where you see all of your items, where you actually be submitting the order. So now that let's say, you know, this jacket is what I bought or your Jordan 4s, your off-white jacket. Once it's stored in the warehouse, you'll be able to submit it. We're going to switch the destination to United Kingdom and we're going to get into the actual submitting the order process. Here you have your address at the top of the screen, which I'm covering, your product, packing methods, shipping methods. Let's go top down. Product list. If you're picking 10 products, all 10 of them will be here. Here you can choose either remove tag or net weight. As I've said, net weight reduces the volumetric weight, which will make shipping cheaper. Remove tag will get rid of hang tags and price tags. People believe it makes chance of seizure smaller. I personally don't think it affects it, but just believe whatever you want to believe. If you want to remove the tag, go for it. It's not going to make it any cheaper. <laughs> if, if it's just like a placebo thing for you, then you can go for it. Let's go into the packing methods now. Outer packing method. 99.99% of times, please pick carton box. Unless you're shipping something stupid like plushies which i do not recommend or just straight up clothes that you don't care much for you can pick simple packaging which will be cheaper but it will also affect the the options for the shipping lines but for the purpose of this video please just go with carton box it just means your package will be shipped in a box and then packing details you've got so many options here i'm going to go over what every single one of them means we're going to start off with the chargeable shoe tree and you can just hover over this and you'll know as well but it is just a shoehorn shoe tree whatever you want to call it that goes inside of your shoe to protect it from creasing in transit however you can pay for this for 10 u and also increase your weight which will make your shipping more expensive or you can go into the free shoe tree section and get some plastic recyclable inflated shoe trees which i use in all of my videos and you get it for free you get it for cheaper and you get the same functionality of a shoe tree up next you've got bubble wrap bubble wrap is expensive and it doesn't look like it because it's only five yuan per parcel but it makes the volumetric weight so much larger imagine your box and then imagine it wrapped in bubble wrap twice or three times it will be a lot bigger it will make your shipping a lot more expensive I only use bubble wrap for very fragile items and when you select it please specify in this window box what what items you actually want bubble wrapped for example if i had a, like a, a sensitive item such as like some figurine please only bubble wrap the figurine or you can scroll up and find the product id copy this and please only bubble wrap pi and then the obviously the id so you don't bubble wrap the whole box and end up paying a stupid amount up next we've got vacuum bag which is vacuum sealing basically this is extremely helpful i use it with majority of my hauls if you've got clothing items or soft fabric you know cloth things that can get smaller not shoes and please use vacuum bag it will make your shipping cheaper if you do have a mix of shoes and clothes specify here Please do not vacuum seal or vacuum bag. I just, I, yeah, just, I just do vacuum bag so it's easier for them to understand. Please do not vacuum bag the shoes. You don't want your shoes to come in vacuum bag because they will crease like crazy. 
Up next, we've got moisture bag, which is a, a layer of plastic around the entire parcel, prevents it from prevents water from getting in, and this also costs five yuan. I personally prefer to go with stretch film, which you guys see me struggling with in every video, and yeah, it, it's funny to laugh at me. Every video I struggle with stretch film, it is extremely good. It packages, it's such a strong restriction around your parcel, it's hard to open it, which, I mean, maybe it's placebo, maybe it's pseudoscience, snake oil, uh, but the chance of seizure might in turn be decreased. I don't believe it personally. I just like stretch form for my own personal benefit. Uh, but yeah, stretch form is a very good resource. And last but not least, parcel reinforcement, which is the most expensive and the heaviest packing detail. And also the one I recommend the least. I think this is extremely overkill. I've never used it. Why would I de why would I increase my shipping by 40 U1 and also pay another 30 U1 for the actual packing detail itself? Only use this if you've got extremely, extremely fragile items, things that you care about, things that are uh, like expensive. If you really want to ensure that your items are safe, use parcel reinforcement, stretch film, bubble wrap, and that's pretty much the holy trinity of safety. As I've already covered this message box, you pretty much understand what happens here. You can give them specific information, specific instructions on how to package things. For example, if you've got three pairs of shoes, please put shoe, pair, and then you get the ID. Any ID works. You get the ID of your product here. Please put shoe pair at the bottom of the box. Please put the clothes in between and then put shoe pair and then another ID if you have two pairs of shoes on top. You can specifically tell them how to package things, okay? This is also how you get your shoe boxes folded. If you insist on having your shoe boxes folded uh, and not selecting net weight, you can ask here, please fold all the shoe boxes. And in turn, your shoe boxes will remain. They'll be folded. They'll be a bit fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. They do get damaged quite a bit, but at a cheaper price. The price won't change instantly here. This is still just an estimated cost. Once they actually package it up, uh, you'll get your real payment, your real amount. Sometimes you need to overpay, sometimes you get a refund, it depends. But we'll scroll down to the shipping method section. Now for shipping lines, there are tens of options in every country. I recently did a video on the best shipping line. If you wanna know what your best shipping line for your country is, either leave a comment, message me on Discord, or watch that video. I'm gonna go over the UK really quickly. I would just go with UK Packet. UK Packet or UK Line B. The only issue with UK Line B is you can't really ship larger parcels, but UK Packet comes in clutch with that. And now that I know I wanna do UK Packet, I'll click select. And I'll be redirected to this other window, which is the declaration window, which I also did a video over recently. And if you'd watched that video, you'd know I'd type in 24 here. If you want to understand what this window is, please watch my other declaration tutorial. It covers really all you need to know. When you go below the declaration window, you've got the buy insurance option. Always buy insurance, okay? Please, always buy insurance. It's cheap. It covers everything. It covers your products and your shipping amount. So if anything happens to your parcel, if it get lost, delayed, or seized, you get your money back. Then you're gonna remind, you're gonna tick the reminder. You understand what's happening. You've got the specifications for the parcel here, the estimated specifications, and you've got the coupon or discount code section. Most of you won't have coupon codes. If you go into the, if you click discount code, you'll be able to type in code J and get 5% off on your shipping. It's nothing crazy, but it's 5%. And after that, we can submit a parcel. When you submit a parcel, you get like a big re reminder. It basically tells you, are you sure you want to do these? Is this the right address? Do you want to remove these packaging products? Do you want to remove these tags? We obviously didn't do either one of those. So we'll just click it's correct and then submit. And you'll be once again redirected to the payment page we all know and love. So now that you've got your submitted parcel, in most cases, you're not actually going to see the tracking number instantly. UK Packet is one of those weird lines where they generate a random number early and then it changes in the future. So don't worry about this. But yeah, you'll be able to view your product in the parcels page. I'm just going to cancel this because I don't actually want it. Now that I've removed that, you can actually see my previous parcels and we can go over what everything means on here. Um, this will look differently depending on the status or how much time has passed since you submitted your parcel. There are going to be different steps. There are going to be different statuses. For example, you see I have received here. It will depend on how much time has passed. The first status that will appear once you've paid for your parcel, once you've submitted everything, will be handling, which basically means, you know, they've received the request. Now they're just waiting to actually take care of that request and start packaging your stuff. Pack pending means that they're getting ready to basically package it. They've received the request. Now they're actually, they're actually like managing it. Handling basically means it's in the system. Pack pending basically means it's, it's been received, looked over by a real person. Up next, you've got the collecting phase, which means they're collecting all the items from within their warehouse and uh, obviously getting ready to pack them up. Then you've got collected, which means the items are ready. Then you've got packed, which means the package is actually all done. You know, everything is sealed. And you've got label printed, which basically means the label has been printed. It's on the package. It's waiting to be scanned and collected. Up next, you've got the, the status scanned, which obviously means they scanned the, the label. It's in the system. It's ready to go. Then you've got carry collected, which means the shipping company has picked up the parcel. And then last but not least, you have shipped, which means it's on the way. 
Once the status is shipped, you will receive a tracking number where you'll be able to view your tracking details of where your items are. You can also copy this tracking number and enter it on external websites such as 17track.net, search here, and then get your tracking information. You can also see your shipping fee details, which basically gives you a nice rundown of how much you paid and for what, your volume, your weight, and the status. Then we're gonna click onto the details tab. In this tab, you'll actually be able to see the photo of your parcel, which is the, the, the actual photo of your parcel in the warehouse. So if you just click view photos here, or if you have any questions, you can click apply after sale, whatever it may be. If you've got any worries, if you want to make sure everything's good, you scroll down and see address information. And then you've got your logistics information, just how long you can expect yourself to wait. And once again, a detailed rundown of how much you paid. So as you can see, the final payment and the deposit matches perfectly here. However, sometimes you pay, for example, in this, let's just say you paid 360 you won here, but the final payment actually turned out being up 330. You'll be refunded that amount. Here you've got your declare amount, which is how much you declared, your value added services and package remarks. You see, I, I asked them if they can decrease the volume as much as possible. Thank you. Be nice to them, be human. And that's pretty much the entire process. Tracking your packages is probably one of the things that you're going to worry about the most. And it's something you're going to be checking on a daily basis. And I understand that feeling. Just please be patient. You know, things aren't going to happen faster just because you're being impatient. <laughs> so make sure you are patient. And uh, once you're shipping, once your parcel ships, after five days, you're going to receive PandaBy points, which you can view on the PandaBy My Points section. You might be wondering what these points are used for. They're used for the website cnfair.com. All these products you see here can be redeemed. These are a bit shit because there hasn't been a drop for a while. But that's because of Chinese New Year. There is usually some fire here, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you've probably seen my other video, I've gotten some really nice stuff from here. And the sim it's a very simple process. Redeemable, redeem, copy redeem code, my points, make sure you have enough points, redeem items, paste the code, and redeem of points, and that's literally it. Those items are basically free, uh, they cannot be insured, which is one thing, and you need to pay for the shipping, which is another thing, so it's not really free, but you, you do get stuff for free. Another thing, in your account tab, you'll see your privilege section, which is VIP points, and this, this won't matter to a new user, this will only matter once you're already starting shipping out items. But you can see, for example, VIP zero gets no benefits. They only get one free after sale operation. Uh, I'm VIP level three, so I get a permanent 3% shipping discount, a 20% insurance discount. These growth points are calculated based on how much, you, how many U1 you've spent on shipping. If you spend 3,000 U1 on shipping altogether, you will level up to level one. Uh, 6,000 for level two and so on and so forth. And you just get these nice benefits. It is honestly, it's it's really it's really cool. It's it's a nice thing to have. There's also a custom function uh, section. Sometimes in some cases when you submit an item, you get uh, you'll go to sleep, you wake up and see that you got a, like a pop up where it's like, oh, you underpaid. You need to pay 10 you one more. So I've just basically automatically said yes, just pay the pay the fucking 20 you want <laughs> like it's just 20 you want for some shipping do it or with international shipping obviously I, I know i'm submitting a package i know i have money please just pay for the international shipping automatically don't make me wait an extra day you've also got order tags which is basically a way for you to um filter items within your cart i have i, I used to do this i completely stopped because i'm too lazy but if we scroll down yeah you see i did do some uh categories it's basically just for you to filter items You've got HD photo template. Honestly, I, I've never used this. I don't see the point. So I'm just going to go over this. You can do it manually. It's fine. Uh, email and app notifications management. This is just for you to specify what you want to be notified about on your phone and on your email. I, I have the, the basics. QC photo watermark. If you want, basically, Panama logo on your QCs. Some people prefer it on. I prefer it on because it gives me the date and time. The PI is just nicer for everyone. And that's pretty much it that's pretty much everything the website has to offer uh everything that matters at least there is obviously a lot more that you can do that's the simplest basically way of ordering product and just wait for your parcel wait for it to arrive and once it arrives happy days once it does arrive though you can of course do the apply award which is a feature which lets you make get some money back after making a social media post featuring the products that you bought uh, the most i've got is like 400 yuan on here but it's nice you know you can submit you can enter the link follow these steps and get some money back it's a nice feature. Insuring claims is very simple. It's if something happens to your parcel, you can get money back. Your clearance certificate is in case customs contact you and they ask for proof of purchase. You can provide this and they should be happy. But yeah, that's basically the whole video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative. I wish you guys all the luck in the world with your future purchases. I hope you're happy. If you have any questions, leave them below or on Discord. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.